On September 29th, Tiny Home Advisor Missy Taylor was handed over the keys to the new Tiny Home Building. The building includes new tools such as a safer and cooler environment for the students. Um, I would say the only thing in the past that has really been a huge challenge was the weather, being able to work during super hot, hot times or really, really cold times or rain, we were not able to work. A big issue with working outside where the tools been stolen. About $18,000 of materials were stolen, most recently in December of this year. However, they all are going to be moved to a storage shelter outside. Uh, beginning of the year, you know, it was 105 every day. Um, it was brutal. We, we could barely go outside sometimes because of the heat in here. It's much safer. The building is more spacious with easier access to their supplies and tools like printers and drills. And we're hoping that once we get our tools moved in to the tool storage area, we won't have that again. Along with a new office and classroom, the building provides safer tools for the students, including a new saw that detects skin and a vent for sawdust. I like how spacious it is now because like, compared to outside, we had a kind of a small little facility where we'd work with and now I feel like with this giant room it's going to allow us to operate more smoothly and hopefully build a better tiny home than we have in the past few years. See, we've gotten some new tools. We have a table saw, um, we have a drill press, a band saw, a belt sander. We still have um, some, a miter saw table that's coming because we have three miter saws. Um, we, we have a sink now before we had to, that will have a big impact on us before we would just get the water that the trainers would give us and squirt it out over our paintbrushes and clean our hands out there. So now we have a sink. So this is just, it's a belt sander. It's just a tool that we can lay our wood on and sand it on the top or sand it right here on the side. Um, this is a band saw. Do intricate cuts with it, maybe even do some, some curved walls, like our curved headers that we've made in the past. We've done it by hand and a piece of uh, string and some one who has very good hands. Um, this is a drill press, so you know we spin this down and the drill goes down into the wood and makes a hole in the wood and then that's our table saw and we're able to push big sheets of plywood through it and it's very safe. Effort's been 100% from day one and that can't go up from there so Effort's been great.